What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Star Trek Craziness, and I'm coming to you, you, and you with a little review of Little Women ATL. Thank God it's Friday. You know, everybody's trying to get off, get paid day, you know, hey. So, and it's another day, a hot day in ATL. Damn it, I'm ready for fall. I know I say this all the time, but I am, people. I'm so ready for fall. It makes no sense. This year has been one of the hottest years with summers we have had in Georgia for me. You know, I'm still young and stuff, but for me, since been growing up, it has been the hottest. And I'm just ready for it to be deceased, okay? But anyways, I'm thankful that I woke up this morning and can give you all this review. So let's get into it. We got Brie and the fam. They basically having fun in the sun. You know, little baby Malik Leak. He playing in the water slide with his um half brother. Then we got the boyfriend. They all playing one big happy family, playing with the water balloons and stuff like that. So then we got this big old Jeep. I think it's a Yukon. Um, that Amanda and uh Andrea got. They pulling up, but it's just money and her. They basically going to see how she's doing since the whole incident with money and the Gremlin twins. And she was like, to be honest, I'm still pissed as because y'all had to pull this stunt not only in front of me, but at my son's three year old birthday party. Like, dang, do we have to be savage savages everywhere we go around here? Damn. Let's act civilized like we got some sense. But Mom was like, she feels so bad. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was going to go down like that. Brie like, look. I don't even fault you. Who I do fault is Juicy. Because she knew this all was going down. She brought these people into our um our circle. And she knew how they vibe. And this just is not going to happen. I cannot deal with it. You know what? I don't want to talk to Juicy right about now. Because if I keep talking about this situation, I'm going to start putting some hands on for people. Just And I'm like, and I'm like okay, calm down. It's, it's just y'all four or three. So just calm down. And um, what's her name? Mine. And she was like, you know, just chill. Why don't you try to talk to Juicy to see if she even knew they was going to pull that. Because she might not even know. They might be playing her on the low. And that's when I was like, she ain't worried about it. She just like, look, I'm done. Y'all done ruined my baby birthday party. And this is something I put aside for us just for family purposes. Because y'all just done elf the other stuff up. So, let me get back to them. See, my baby already coming up the driveway for his mama. So, I'll holler at y'all later. And that's what she did. She said, peace. So, then we got Andrea and her fam. Andrea, she's sorting out some clothes for baby Aubrey. So whenever she come home, she'll be set. Mom, Dad, Jonathan, and Amanda, they come in, you know, checking on to see how she's doing. Oh, I can't forget about little baby Andre. And they asked, you know, where, where Chris at, you know. And she was like, oh, well, he had to go do such and such. No, he's been a little punk and running from his issues when he need to be home by your side waiting on baby Aubrey to come home. But no, he's somewhere, ugh. I ain't even gonna go there. We're just gonna get off of that. So we um find out that Aubrey, little baby Aubrey, she has to stay in the hospital for three weeks or at least until she start eating. Cause she's not eating like she's supposed to. She's not putting on no weight. She a little, you know, underweight. So we need to be at the weight they need to be so she can take the baby home, okay? So then um, like I said, Chris been hiding, blah blah blah. Mama coming okay she tired of separation okay so then they go out into like the den area and the twins mom was like andre say we're leaving mommy we'll see you next time and he was like no mommy coming i thought that was like the cutest thing he is so cute and she was like, I wish I come. I wish I could come. You know, I hate when y'all guys leave and stuff like that. And then Dad was like, Well, you know, you can always come back to Dallas. It's always some space for you and your sister up there. You ain't gotta stay down here. 
And she was like, you know what? I have been thinking about it because, you know, I just don't want to be apart from both of my babies. I got one down here, one up there. I just can't do it. And in the previous episode, Mama Twin already said that she wasn't going to let Andre come down there and live with uh, Andre and Amanda because they had the proper doctors that got up there and she ain't got time to be hearing this and that. She No, it's just not going to. Because she already see what's going on with Chris. Heck no. Don't think so. So... That was like a little emotional moment, you know. She had to say bye and stuff. So we might not see the twins on ATL. She do consider to go back to Dallas. Um. Okay, now we got Juicy and the Gremlin twins. So basically, Juicy, she invited the girls out for lunch. She sit them down and she was like, "Look, I don't like how y'all conducted y'all selves at the birthday party." It wasn't just a grown folks. It was a three-year-old birthday party. Did y'all really have to turn up like that? And that excuse was... We just gonna go step by step with this excuse they came up with. But one of the sisters, before we get into that, one of the sisters said, like, look, I know you juicy. What, what we here for? I know you trying, you got some up your sleeve. What, what, what's the dealio? What's the dealio? And she was like, yeah, girl, you right. Um, did y'all really mean to rub money the wrong way? And it was just, and they was like, it was just the fact she she wasn't going to apologize. And then she said, we can wait for it. Oh, uh, uh-uh, that's not how it's gonna go. That's not. I'm like, why does she have to apologize? You the one who came to her front though, knocking on it, trying to blow it down like the big bad wolf. And get up all in her tea. And in front of everybody. You couldn't pull her to the side. If that was a must know question. That needed to be answered. No you had to just. Put her out there on front line. So I don't think she's supposed to apologize. You did the right thing. And what Juicy said. She was like girl what happened. You started. Um, She was talking to the other twin. She was like well sister. She was like girl what happened. You just start throwing punches, throwing um, throwing food, and she was like, uh, I fe- basically she was like, I felt threatened because next thing I know, money was over me, and I didn't know if she was gonna go hood or gangster on me. But really, S- stop it right there, stop it. So. You t- you know I ain't gonna go in there. I'm not even gonna waste all my time on these twins because they just they just too much. They just too much. She missed oh, and so this was their excuse because she asked them, "Did y'all really deliberately just come there to start some trouble?" And then one of the twins was like, "Hmm, maybe I should pop you outside your doggone chill." What the heck? Calm down. Okay. And then uh, the other twin was sister. She was like, well, she messed up my sister wig. We had to get her back. At a three-year-old birthday party? That just shows how... (sighs) Let me not go there. I'm not... You know, I'm I'm really not because I'm not going to put all my energy on some crazy foolishness. Okay? Because she messed up your sister's wig. You want to go tit for tat. Where is the consideration about others? Do unto others as you would like to do unto yourself. Or is that how y'all said? Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. There we go. Damn. So, basically, Juice was like, look. For us to continue being friends, y'all need to handle this. Y'all need to apologize and make it right. Because what you pulled these last two times you was with the group... Is not acceptable. I'm going to need you to handle that and nip it in the bud now. Or this friendship we have here, it will be cut off. Cut it. Cut it. You need to cut it. You know. So that's basically what's going to be if y'all don't handle it. And then next thing I know, Juice has start crying. Talking about somebody brought y'all into this group. You know, we I barely even bring anybody around the girls. Not I'm like, okay, Juicy, why are you even going into this? Then one of the sisters gonna start crying. You know, we didn't mean to hurt you like that, Juicy. It was just 
Save it for somebody who really gives up. Okay, thank you. Moving on. Because I can't do it. So, um, then we go to uh, Dance 411. If y'all already know, you know, we got a little dance class down here in ATL. Um, and basically for this session, it was a twerk session. And so, it was supposed to be, what is it? Juicy, Bree, and Amanda. But, you know, they... Juicy didn't really know if Brie was going to come, you know, since the situation had popped off at her son's birthday party. But she hoped she did so she could have a chance to talk to her, you know, try to mend some fences. So she brought money. She was, and mine was like, yeah, girl, I'm trying to see if I can, you know, get learn something. I was like, mm, okay. From what I seen when y'all went to Savannah, you was doing a lot. Oh, oh sh okay. So, <laughs> so we, uh, as... Money and Juicy walking towards the door and stuff. They uh, take us into inside. And you know that the teacher, the instructor, she's doing her little twerk thing. Then other girls doing their twerk thing. Then I don't know if y'all saw or if it was just my eyes. I saw a dude. He was twerking backwards. I was like, well, dang, I'm okay, get it, get it, dang. you know, whatever. So, um, Juicy. And money, they finally get in and they join um the group and uh the instructor was like, You ready to twerk? You know, you ready? And Juicy looking all right, hell no, I'm gonna take my butt to the back. So, you know, all the little people they went to the back and you know they were just doing a little twerk thing. Hey, shake it for the camera from what was that uh song? Um hey, hey, I'm fine with it, hey, hey with it. Girl, you look good. Want you back the thing up? You go. Mm -mm -mm. Want you back the thing up? Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> woo. That's what they was doing. They was backing it up, twisting it around, shaking it, and I mean, juicy all her little assets. We just gonna say, just everywhere, just all up in the camera. Had Amanda doing her little toot toot. Then you had Brie doing her little slow motion and twerking. And I don't know what money was doing. You know, she in her own little world. But we had that. Then they had like a little um, twerk freestyle while all the girls did that little thing. Then we get to um, Juicy. She apologized to Bree for you know on behalf of the twins as well as herself. She didn't. She did not know they were gonna come up there and turn up. They told her they were going to be on their best behavior. They definitely wasn't going to bring no drama, especially to a three-year-old birthday party. But they did, and she saw her for that. Of course, Bree, she was like, once again, look. Then with your friends, I'm going to forgive you, but I don't want to talk about this situation no more. Because every time I talk about it, I get back mad. And it's going to make me go to a place where I don't want to go. So... From here on out, I don't even know if I want to deal with um, the sisters no more. Because they some crazy people. Do you hear me? And then Juicy was like, well, look. They invited us to a dinner. And they want to work everything out with you and Bree. I mean, you and Monty. So, you know, I'm just extending an olive branch out to you guys. And just hope y'all come and stuff like that. And uh, Bree was like, look. I don't know if I'll, I'm going to go. But she went. She was like, it don't need to be no uh, alcohol and it don't be need to be no food. And Juicy was like, damn, man, I'm going to bring me some Moscato. I was like, girl, oh, yes. Because <laughs> with y'all, y'all just too much. I can't. I need, Every time I watch this show, I just be like, oh. <sighs> the drama continues. And uh, Brie was like, uh-uh, no, you bring your own bottle. So you can have your own thing, so not, but they still end up having alcohol at the thing. So I don't even know what that was. But um, and then I don't know if y'all know why she when she was talking to Bree, it kind of like Juicy was trembling, like she just wanted to cry again. I'm like, what's going on, boo? What, what's really going on with you? So then we got Minnie and Andrea. Andrea invites me to come over so they can hang out. Basically, aka she wants to talk to her about this <sighs> no good dude of hers, Chris. And so, um, Minnie she comes over. She asks about the baby. You know how the baby doing? She told uh she tells Minnie, and then she goes like, "But what's really been going on? You look down." 
So Andrea goes to tell us well Chris left. What you mean he left? Like he's gone. Bye bye. Benito packed his bags and he went deuces. Hold up. Rewind. He left you at home when your daughter no when y'all daughter is at the hospital. Okay. All right. For how long? Oh, I, that I don't know. What the? You mean? Mm -mm. Cut it. Another. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cause uh uh, you need to cut it for real. Because hell to the no. You having me here while our baby in the hospital, and you just uh uh mm mm. So from there, Andrea was like, look. You know, we had this argument. Things just went left. And he just left. And I know he going to come back to me. I know he going to come back to me. And man was like, look, baby girl, you know I love you and all this. But you in denial. He done did this not once, but twice now. He did it with baby Andre. Now he's doing on um, um, Aubrey. What is it going to take for you to realize he is not ready to be a father, let alone a good man? That he could just dump you like that. And then you. He, he expect he could just come back in. Everything going to be okay. Then she had the nerve to pull out. The um, maternity uh, pictures that her and Chris took. Tell me some look girl look. This, this, see when it's good it's good. You know he, look he's smiling. He's doing all that. You, you can't tell me he don't love me. And. Is he here with you now when you really need him? It's like every time when stuff get tough. He, he taking the exit. No, boo. No. You need to be here year round. 30, 365 days of the year. Okay? You don't need to be missing in action. Especially not at this time when your baby girl is in the hospital. Okay? But, she, like I said, she's still in the... I'm with Minnie. She's still in denial. She like, the, he gonna come back. This is just a little pebble in our little pond of drama i just can't take it i just really need you to get your ish together okay just get it together so then we got ricky smiling and juicy they having lunch basically juicy wants to present this idea of her having this radio talk show about sex it's all about sex baby it's okay y'all remember that you know so he asked me, he like surprised because she don't really ever talk about sex. You know, he never really heard her talk about sex. So, you want to have a sex talk radio show? Where you just really have to be open and out there with talking about sex? She was like, yeah, you know, I want to do that. I want to be able... Because people always asking how the little people have sex. So, you know, I just want to be informative and stuff like that. And he was like, okay, oh, okay. Um, what position can you do? I'm like, Rick A. Rick A. <laughs> he was basically with something like, you just can't be talking about what he said. You just can't be, um, I think it was the missionary. He said you just can't be talking about the missionary position. You got to talk about every position out there. Doggy style, this, that. I was like, okay, that's just too much for me. And he a Omega, so I know he, he yeah yeah so um i'm just gonna leave it at that but if you know you know them turn yeah okay so she was like you know i could do any talk about any position that's out there you know we can do some things little people i was like go ahead girl do your thing so then she brought up uh, I, uh, she brought up this idea about having um a demo basically having like a pre type show to see if this really can be something worth working on he was like okay yeah you, you can do that so what you gonna call it and she was like hmm i don't know and he gonna say well you should call it squeeze the juicy no squeeze the juice with juicy i was like squeeze the juice with you Ugh, I don't even want to picture that. Then he got this lemon. He put it toward the water. He was just squeezing it. I was like, 
mm -mm, that's too much. I don't I don't want to put that image in my head. So then we got money and Moreland. Juicy done set them up with a famous wedding planner. So they go in, they sit down, whatever planner was like, look, what can what, what what's the um what's the word I'm looking for? What's the damn it, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. What are we trying to do with this wedding? <laughs> that way what are we trying what's the um vision there we go what's the vision for the wedding so she decides she wants it at the georgia aquarium she wants to be around little fishies and stuff and he was like okay we can work with that so they going over different stuff and we get to the food more than talking about some oh we can have some hot wings you know like put in the hot tray when you um like <laughs> had a pink cup and money was like, uh uh, hell, we are not about to have our, my, well, she said really her wedding. Like, they at, um, about to have school lunch or they at a family barbecue. It's not about to go down like that. Then we had the wedding planner, I think his name was Christopher. He was like, uh uh, we don't do cafeteria food, boo boo. No cafeteria. Mm mm. I was like, well, dang. I mean, it is his money, ain't it? Going towards this. He need to have some say so. But she said she ain't having no chicken. She ain't having nothing ordinary. She want everything extraordinary. She want it big. She want it booming. And that's not a part of that vision. Okay? So I'm like, Marlon, Marlon you see what you done got? You see what you done got yourself into? Mm-hmm. And so, um, basically his thing was like, let's be reasonable. We don't, we don't have all these funds like that for you to be having this extravagant wedding vision out here. We need to be a look. this is you, and I'm need you to do, 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 you know, size it down. And she was like, uh-uh, you want me to work on my anger issues? I'm need you to work on getting this money for this wedding. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. She told you you might wanna. Okay, so then, <laughs> um, the wedding planner Christopher he was like, "Look, so what's the budget? What were we trying to go for?" And of course, any woman would be like, "Well, I don't have no budget. You know, I don't have no um, no limit. It's sky's the limit over here." And the wedding planner, oh, I like to hear that. And here we got Moreland again. Um, well, once again, it, ne it needs to be reasonable. You know, you want us to be out on the street, not being able to do nothing. But we had this big old extravagant wedding. And she like, uh, at this point, I don't care. You need to make it happen. So basically, the wedding plan was like, look, y'all need to think about this and call me. Okay, because I can't, mm -mm, I need to know for sure before I start making my calls to make this wedding go A-okay. Alright, and so money and more than that go out and she like what's up you know he like look you you your plans are way too big with this wedding it need to be reasonable it need to be simple you know we ain't got all these funds out chill like that girl i already gotta pay for stuff at home you know i'm letting you do your little um voiceover thing and i'm the one who working so i'm gonna need you to cut all that down and she was like look once again you want me to work on my anger issues I need you to get this wedding, okay? He's like, dang, you act like a bride, a bridezilla. Uh, you ain't seen nothing yet, boo. Oh, she said, claws ain't even came out yet. I was like, oh, I hate to see them when they do. I, I felt a little scratch. You feel me? I'm like, okay. So then we got Emily and Tara, which was a surprising. Well, I, it shouldn't even be no surprise because they tend to do this little pop up on each. Uh, particular um city so I I don't even know why I even said that but she's talking about how she's been talking to Tara since this whole thing with JJ and you know she finally got somebody who she could talk to about the situation or whatever I guess since Bree's not there and she just goes to say how the doctors they just basically said look baby boy only got a certain amount of time on this earth you know, he's not promised for a long future. And I'm like, damn, that's what you need. But they got to keep it real. You know, they really have to keep it real with you. Because they don't want you to be thinking, you know, baby boy. And like I said, unfortunately, JJ did pass. So, 
it was, you know, it was very, very heartfelt, emotional type of thing. Because when I even saw I was shocked. So, she was just uh, telling Tara that. And Tara was like, look, freak them. You need to call the doctor that worked on my baby, Penelope. His name is Dr. Daniel Moore. He is the godfather of all neurologists, okay? So, I'm going to need you to call him and tell him what's going on and see what else you might can do versus just giving up all hope and you know it was like cool i can do that because i just can't i, I just can't let my baby go out like that I just, I just cannot and i respect you on all fronts all right so then we got juicy and gary her co-host that's on the rickley uh ricky smiling morning show and she just uh was basically like i said doing a demo so when i do <laughs> these questions the questions these people asked her was like wow so we got this one person asked how hold on oh how can i make a woman twerk i was like Wow, and Juicy didn't even, she was like, dang, they come with the questions out the gate, ain't that? At first, I thought she was shy about the situation, because I'm like, Juicy, you gonna say something? Like, she took a minute to answer, but she was like, it's called foreplay, and of course, Gary, he was like, okay, meaning, what does that mean? Like, what does he have to do to, you know, for it to squirt? And she was like, um... Fingers do all the walking and the tongue do the talking. I was like, go ahead, girl. That's too much info for me. You know, I got virgin ears. <laughs> so, then we have, uh, are you considered a, um, by having sex on the first date? And Juicy said, hell no. I was like, all right then. Then, what's some tips you can give uh, me to make? oral sex pleasurable mm -hmm. and then can you, can you pop your cherry more than once no comment because they didn't even she didn't even say anything then we had money she had asked have you ever been with a little size man and she was like no and then the last question was what constitutes a small penis if you can't hit the walls you need to get up i was like all right now if you can't make them rock loose and all that i guess so so we're just gonna get off that <laughs> so i guess she did a good demo just to say that so now we're at the dinner all i'm gonna say about this one what the hell was they in it looked like they was in some type of Scream slash Texas Chainsaw Massacre slash Goosebumps. Any of them little horror type thing, films or short stories. Because I'm like, when they said dinner, I'm thinking we actually go into a nice restaurant, have food and have a couple of drinks, say sorry, get to know each other a little better. What the hell was this? Once again, they pulling these crazy stunts. And they knew exactly what they was doing. So the girls came in. And they was like me. What the hell is this? Why do I feel like something is just going to come out at me and just go round? Because it, it was just very creepy. And so, when all the girls got there, the twins was like, oh, uh, the gremlin twins. They was like, look, this is a, a dinner to say that we're sorry, we want to make up, and let's basically start over. This is not how we start over, ladies. Let's do this one-on-one. -on -one. We do not start over, and I, I'm feeling like something's about to come catch me or grab me. No, uh, -uh I, I, that's not going to work. I, damn show, you could just, if this was the case, you could just say sorry over the phone. I didn't have to come out my, my... Ugh, I just can't. See, they, they, they got me all discombobulated because they couldn't catch me in that scene. I was like, mm -mm, no, I don't even want to film with them because they on some ugly ish right about now because I'm not about to text now. And I'm trying to figure out where is that? You know, I don't even want to know. 
Because I want to know where that was in Atlanta, but I don't want to know. That, that was just enough. But to top that off, they're going to say, well, <sighs> instead of having just an ordinary dinner, we're going to have a psychic come to come here and tell us and give us some readings about ourselves. Right there is where I would have said, well, it was nice meeting y'all again. I'm about to take my purse and get the hell on up out of here. Because y'all don't lost y'all ever, uh, ever, ever loving mine. If you think I'm going to stay here and let some psychic tell me what she thinks she know about me. Or he thinks she know that he know about me. Uh, wrong go. Got the wrong one. And I'm about to hit exit left. Okay. And... All the girls freaking out, talking about some old hex and all about it. I did not see one of y'all not get up until the end. And I'm just like, really? So, they stayed. Go figure. And the psychic, she came and she was like, well, you know, I'm going to just look at you and feel your energy. And see, I don't play with stuff like that. I, I don't do that. Mm -mm, no, don't do it. So, I definitely would have not been staying a part of that little get together but she went to Bree, then she went to money then she went to one of the twins and then she got to many and i'm like wait a minute you skipped over the main ones who brought us here they should have been the first ones see what's coming out they um they closet okay so she got the many and then she had basically told her you wanted a child so bad that you made up a lie about you being pregnant. I was like, what? Well, damn. Really? We back at this again. We left that like a couple of episodes ago. Why are we even bringing this back to the forefront? And you, that just left Juicy wide open to bring back up the situation. So, as the lady talking, everybody just like, oh, shit. Did she really just say that? Did she just say she made up this? And she had asked uh, Minnie something. And Minnie was like, no, no, you, mm -mm, you're not telling the truth. So after the psychic left, everybody was like, that lady full of crap. She don't know ish, you know, stuff like that. And then we had Juicy. She was like, well, she was right about some things, especially with you, Minnie. I was like, no, she didn't just do <laughs> She was worried about you lying about you having the baby. And that just went left. So her um and Minnie had some words. And then we had the Grim Twins. They were like, hey, cut that, cut that. Now you told us to behave. And look at you, Juicy. You you ain't um behaving your doggone self. What's going on? Let, kill, kill that noise. Kill that noise. And Juicy was like, look, you brought somebody here to the group. So, I was just saying what she said. I was just repeating what she said. And I'm like, Juicy, why you got to be messy? They right. In this instance, they right. You you told them to stop with all this petty foolishness. And you don't see. Can never get this group. Can never be on one accord. Somebody always got to be a loose one out the bunch. Okay. So, Minnie got up. After she got her another sip. Got a purse and left. And they had a couple of words talking about something you need to get you a man. Well, Lisa ain't got to lie about one. I was like, oh, well, damn. All right, then. So, let's just get on off that. <laughs> but this episode was just too much for me. I just, them doggone gremlin twins, I tell you, I just can't take it. I cannot take them. First, it was the other one who started in trouble. Now, they start in trouble. But then they tried to back it up. I, I can't. So, y'all tell me what y'all thought about the episode as well as my commentary. Um, I will be uploading Little Women LA. If not later on today, it will definitely be this weekend because I'm trying to work on my other channel. Make sure y'all go subscribe. Show your girls some love on that channel. I will be posting a video on there. I don't know if it's going to be a skit, girl talk, something. But it will be some up there so y'all can enjoy. So see you on the next review. Peace.